念，知道吗？王老板。Lads, what game have we got today? Romana, away. Yes, that's right, lads. It's match week five of Division Two this week. As they were headed for Anna Skellen for Fermanagh v Armagh, and what is going to be a big game down at Bruce Park now. This game was meant to be Saturday night yesterday, however, with bad snowfall, the pitch was deemed unplayable from yesterday. However, a very early uh, ma uh, match inspection has took place. The game is set to go ahead, and that's really good news. I'm very happy for the game to be going ahead. I threw both teams of PNA, of course. Um, I'm actually not too sure if Fermanagh has even named their team yet as of recording, but I mean, Armagh side. Once again, it's as usual, so nothing really new to report from there. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what this goes down here. Obviously, I would expect Armagh to get the win here in this one. And I mean, Calvin and me drawing, uh, they're drawing with each other last, team out, uh, last night, should I say. If we can get a win here, that sets us massively on brilliant track to getting promotions. So, yeah, we need a win here, though, first. I think we definitely will do. So, let's hope for Man and don't have anything up their sleeves. But let's hope then that we'll be the better team. And let's hope then we'll make it another. Win here in this one, get back to winning ways after a draw last week. As we set ourselves in fine form of getting promoted back to Division One. So I see you all then when I'm down in Ellis Gillen. We are then in Enniskillen, overlooking the lake here in this car park, half an hour to throw in now. Look at that, right beside the ground, Bristol Park, you can hear the music going on. Get seated very shortly. Fermanagh and our mouth legs there. Here we are, in Bristol Park. Here's the seats for the game then. We are quite central over at the other end. Stands looking quite full over there. There's Fermanagh team of course. Warming up here. And over there of course is Armagh. Never well struck today. Always nice to see. We've got about 20 minutes here to throw in as the crowds do build here in Bristol Park, Kenneth Skillen. Here's both teams then for the game. Obviously Armagh side once again. It's quite similar side that's been named throughout the league campaign. This is the exact same, actually, I'm pretty sure. And around that anyway, that was named against Donegal last week. Same on off bench as well. And as for Fermanagh then, uh, Sean Cassidy, I do believe, is a good player, as is Alton Kelm. A couple decent enough forwards in there. However, I still wouldn't be overly worried about them. Still a decent enough side though, but I still probably would expect Armand to beat them. So then a match preview here, just a wee short one. As I said in my prediction video, I think Armagh will win this one by six or seven or even eight points in this one. I definitely respect heavy enough win for us today in this one. But I mean, for now, still maybe could have a uh, couple of slips up their sleeves, you know. It mightn't be as straightforward as we may think it may be. I mean, Fermanagh could be very good, it could be very bad in this game. It's hard to know, but I guess we'll wait and see uh, very, very soon here. I still have any respect on Armagh win, regardless of how good or bad Fermanagh are in this one. One of these things. Uh, I think we'll see the likes of Connor Turb play good again. I think we'll see Kim McConville kick, kick over a good few scores. Hoping to see Ray and get more action in this one, possibly in this kick over a couple of scores as well. Hoping to see two or three goals maybe. I'll definitely be very nice for this one as well. But well, well then, I'm very excited for this one. I hope Armagh can get a big win in this one as we give ourselves a brilliant chance of promotion back to Division 1. Aidan Walker, and I were shocked at Kieran Mackin. Lorna Parker, ever enough. Ben Creeley, Kimber and Lee, Stephen Campbell. Salam Malak, Pussy.
Him guns, come on, come on, Arma. Come on, I got the first score. Oh, 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 Set. Yes. Yes, Set. Set. Oh. I think I got a good from that. I take the point though. What's it, Half time then. There's a score for on my bit too. And then break. So half time here then in Ennis Gillen is for Manus 6 points, Arma 8 points. Now it's been a mixed bag so far, like because I mean have Arma been at their 100 percent best, although we've looked good at times, we probably could be a lot better so far. For Mana, I've actually looked quite good in this one if I'm being honest, like and they're probably maybe getting a bit too much time with the ball, if I'm being honest. Um, but, I mean, I think we need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal as well. I mean, we need to be taking some goals, uh, but instead we're taking points. And when we're, we need points, we're taking goals. Like So we need to be a bit more clinical, and we need to be better in our decision-making. However, we're ahead of the break. I mean, for Mana, I've brought it back to within two points. I still got to expect Armad to run away with it here in the second half. I better hope Armad will win today, because... Uh, this team most likely is going to lose here, so yeah, interesting to see what will happen in the second half, however. So we'll respect our man to have to win in this one. Gareth Burns over there, and the picture with all the half time teams. Gareth Burns once again on the road with our man. On the pitch. Go over behind the net for the second half. Senior Matthew fans, 
Yeah, my hand is not here now, the second half. Empty bays two and three, they look exactly the same. Here comes Arma back out now. We'll have time for the two Second half against, come on Arma. Yes. Come on, Rory. Yes. Up by four and eight. Come on. Yes. What a brilliant score by Andre Merlin. Mano back scoring. Yes. Another good score. Up five, five again. Yes. Keep it out of his nets. Stunning. Speechless. Just bail on over, I think. Smells away. Score by Supey. It's over. Oh, it's dropping, is it? Oh, still there. Keep going, man. Oh. Go this time. Oh. Oh. Come on, ref. Horrible. That's good. Come on. Straight into the face of the umpire. Come on, Liam. Fourth forty five that uh I signed off with the score. Yes. All over. There's a score there. Arma 15, Kermana 11. Five, another arm beaten streak continues. Two more games to go. Promotion is 100% on. So, that's there you are then. Arma end out with a four point victory at, away from home against Kermana. Um, a lot of big match reaction, a lot to, to talk about, but that's all coming tomorrow in the match reaction. Thank you all for once again supporting another match day vlog. And remember to stay tuned for tomorrow for the match reaction video. Thank you for all the support. I'll see you all in the next one.